as an intermediate artist, I found joy in learning new stuff. And I feel like this is where the most of my growth happened. And uh, I think maybe this is why I enjoy learning. This time, I picked something that maybe all the Blender users wanted to learn. So, I took the challenge and I came up with uh, something that I'm really proud of. It's not something that's uh, mind-blowing, but it seems like uh, I stepped in the right direction. So, in this series, I'm going to show you how I did this animation. From scratch, step by step, using rigid body, gloss, and the particle systems. And I'm going to guide you through the animation and the lighting process. And uh, also the shading from scratch here in Blender. I am already prepared this data blend file for you. Link down below. If you grab the Blender file down below, you will have the similar rack that we're gonna texture and use later on. Like uh, as you see in here, I'm already setting my lighting setup. It's uh, very simple. I plan with an emission shader and uh, a three point lighting setup. And I have in here a plane that acts as a reflector. And if you want to know how I set my lighting and stuff, go and check uh, this video up here. So I'm gonna start in the shader editor. Select your rock and go to the shader editor and press shift A to add a color ramp and plug it between the image texture and the base color like what we did now is like we turn this image into a black and white value to have full control over it I'm gonna press this plus button to add the new slider and I'm gonna pick a, a purple color feel free to pick the color that you want and I'm gonna add another one and move it to the other side like you can add how many sliders you want pick different colors like uh, get creative with this and you can create an amazing looking rock with just using this color ramp but for this one we're gonna keep it simple like with my rock still selected i'm gonna go to the physics properties and add a rigid body set to active and i found the default setting work well for me now if i press play it's falling we don't want this to fall and the solution for this is very simple i'm gonna go to my scene properties and then check this box gravity now if i press play it's not falling and this is what we want in here i'm gonna press shift d and duplicate my rock around my scene i want to make a good amount of them on each duplicate and change the variation by pressing r twice to rotate or s to scale i just want to make them random after you're done with that if you press play nothing happened maybe it's act weird so this is the right time to add the force field i'm gonna press shift a and add a force field and go into the physics properties and give into that a negative value now if you press play it works really smooth really good like i really like this one and this is was a quick friendly easy tutorial on how i make this interactive rock here in blender this is just the first chapter so in the next tutorial, I'm gonna cover for you how I did this really cool Venom effect in Blender using some simple modifiers. And yeah, if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. Stay connected with me on Instagram, I'm really active there. Aside from that, thanks you for watching, have a beautiful day, my friend.